Sega. Hi, I'm Jeff Beckham, Associate Brand Manager at SEGA, and I'd like to welcome you back to Part 4 of our training series for Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown. During the first three sessions, we taught you general game strategy that can be applied to any character in Final Showdown. The rest of the sessions, starting with this one, will focus on strategies unique to each character. In this video, we will discuss the two new characters, Jean Cujo and Takarashi. Jean Cujo is a master in karate and specializes in dealing damage in the most efficient way possible. With his hard hits and wide array of moves from any range, he is one of the easier characters for beginner players to learn. However, he is also very powerful and can be used effectively by an advanced player as well. A signature move of Jean's is his forward forward punch. This long range attack leaves you safe from any counter attack if it is guarded, but if unguarded, you put the opponent into a stunned state. The stunned state is brand new to Final Showdown, and there are a few things to note. After successfully stunning an opponent, neither throws nor follow-up attacks are guaranteed, despite the large frame advantage. This may seem to lessen the appeal of Jean's stunning attack, but don't worry, this move still leaves you many ways to deal high damage. When an opponent is hit by Jean's dashing punch, their first reaction is typically to start guarding a follow-up attack. Take advantage of this by delaying your throw until after they recover from the stun state and enter a guard position. The extra dash motion will confirm your opponent's belief that you will strike them with another punch, but in reality, you are tricking them into a defensive state so that you can throw them. More advanced players will try to beat your follow-up attack with an evade throw escape. You, being the clever player, can easily beat this option in one fell swoop, pun intended. There are also times when the opponent will take a gamble and will try to counterattack you on your attempt to throw. Remember that when the opponent is heavily stunned, you always have the advantage you will win any attack exchange in this situation. Once you get more comfortable with how your adversary will react in these situations, you can start incorporating Jean's amazing guard break attack into your game. Jean also possesses a wide assortment of charge attacks that make him unique compared to other Virtua Fighter characters. His charge attacks allow you to effectively change the timing of when his moves come out, thus tricking opponents into expecting a different attack. In this example, when the kick becomes fully charged, it turns into an unblockable flying kick. It's also important to remember that many charge attacks usually have a secondary option as well. Here you can see that while you are holding the charge for the unblockable flying kick, when you press punch, it turns into a full circular swipe. Remember to never release the kick button when executing this move. What makes the charge attack so effective is that when they are guarded on full charge, you are always left with an advantage. Some charge moves allow Jean to continue his string even further when guarded, such as the back kick punch. Upon guard, Jean can continue his string with two mid punches or a low kick kick. Make sure to take advantage of these situations to keep the pressure on. Remember you will only gain the frame advantage on a full and complete charge. In this situation where Jean uses a partial charge, we can see him lose to an elbow after getting his string blocked. On a full charge, Jean wins this scenario. Remember that when you create a large frame advantage, you have control of the game. Be creative and see what other strings you can come up with. Another great Jean move is his rolling kick, performed with back, forward, kick plus guard. It is a long range move, it is safe when guarded, and it causes a stagger when it connects. If your opponent is unable to shake off this heavy stagger, you can use forward punch, punch kick to punish him further. Eventually, opponents will learn to shake out of this stagger and guard your combo. When they do, use this opportunity to throw your opponent or to use one of the other strategies you learned in the previous section. 
Here is a basic combo that works on most characters when learning Zhang. It is important to know that with this character, it is not always necessary to perform combos to win. By selecting your opportunities to counterattack your opponent, the damage will add up quickly for a win. Taka Arashi is a returning favorite to the Virtua Fighter series. With his unique sumo style and massive frame, players are forced to change their game entirely when fighting him. While he may require a lot of patience to play, he can change the tide of a match in a heartbeat. Taka is recommended for advanced players. As mentioned before, Taka literally changes the dynamics of Virtua Fighter due to his weight. Characters will struggle to throw him, and moves that would normally knock down or launch will be unable to do so. As a Taka player, it is important to know each one of these situations and capitalize on the advantage your extra weight has given you. The most effective strategy when playing Taka is to have patience by setting up basic poke strings and attacks. In this example, we use Taka's quick jab attacks, followed by a mid swipe to prevent the opponent from ducking his initially high attack string. Once you recognize your opponent is guarding the full string, you can mix in a simple jab throw or a punch punch throw. To avoid the throw, your opponent will likely try to duck, and this is an excellent chance to finish off your string with a mid-attack once again. Taka's forward P plus K, PP, also gives you this mix-up option with all mid-attacks at much longer range. Another strong mix-up string is Taka's back punch plus kick, punch string. It is a mid-mid-attack that will always knock down on the second hit. Like all other strings, you can opt out of the second hit for a throw. If you do successfully land the second hit, you can quickly combo your opponent for a lot of damage. In order to mix up Taka's game, it is important to understand his low pokes as well. His down punch plus kick punch is a double low attack that knocks down the opponent on a counter hit. His down back punch plus kick will knock down the opponent on a normal hit. If you find your opponent backing away from you in fear of Taka's immense power at close range, you can close the gap quickly and safely by pressing kick. Because of Taka's slow speed, you may face players that refuse to do any move other than a jab or elbow. Punish them for this with Taka's stance that auto counter attacks these moves. Be careful though, as Taka is prone to being attacked or thrown while in this stance. Taka's back punch 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 string is interesting because it will let you get into his low crouching stance in mid string by pressing punch kick guard all at the same time. This can be used to mix up a variety of attacks, knockdowns, or even guard breaks. On the punch plus kick plus guard guard break, Taka's standing punch plus kick headbutt is guaranteed for an easy combo follow-up. Use this string to keep your opponents on their toes with its wide assortment of branching paths. By this time, we have opponents afraid of Taka's dynamic striking game. This opens up Taka's powerful throw game. His back throw is unique in that it will give him his headbutt combo for free. Since both throw directions do amazing damage to any character, players will have a hard time choosing which direction to throw a skate. Here are some basic combos you can use for Taka as you get started using him. Remember, patience is a virtue for Taka. Even though you may be losing the round most of the time, it only takes one correct guess for you to easily shift the momentum of the battle in your favor. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Beckham, and I'll see you next time.